Yeah, my name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and uh, teaching instructor, and I worked at IRS for over a decade. I've worked thousands of cases. Uh, my YouTube channel is short, sweet, and to the point. They're usually about three minutes. Me and my m m man color cords of the day gives you a, a thumbs up. So today, I'm going to talk to you about what you need to know about Tax Resolution Company. Obviously, I have my own resolution company, and uh, if you're not hiring me or considering someone solo uh, like myself, uh, you got to be aware of what's going on in the resolution industry. The big money are spent on really large firms that spend about a million dollars a week uh, or three million dollars a week in advertising. Uh, who gets paid the most on those firms? Uh, the salespeople and the company. Actually, the least amount of money actually is paid to the people doing the work. Uh, you will speak to a salesman or somebody who will go ahead and upsell you and collect the most they can. If you call the big companies, you're going to be speaking to a salesman who is a professional pitch man. Um, you got to be careful. Uh, a lot of the reviews that they have... Um, they're seasoned and they're doctrine, and uh, they have other companies a lot of times uh, that they, they have a second and third company because they have so many bad reviews. So you can't let BBB influence you. Um, it's one thing you can look for. Uh, what you want to do is it doesn't make any difference the company. It's the person that is going to do your work. So um, no matter who you choose, you may want to choose someone local, you want to you may choose someone uh, a national, you want to ask that person on similar cases with the situation I have, what are my expected results? Now in most cases, they have to know something about you. They're going to want to ask, are you current on all your tax returns? If they haven't asked that question, don't use them. If they have said, well, are you current on estimate payments and withholding? They haven't asked that question. Don't use them. If you're trying to make a deal or settle a debt with the IRS or be hardship and they haven't asked for a current financial statement, don't use them. As a former IRS agent, I needed to look at your body of work to close your case. I wanted to know if all your returns were filed, if you're current on your W-2 or your estimate payments, and I needed to take a look at your financial statement before I could actually tell you how I'm going to close your case. So a lot of times if you're speaking to a salesperson, they are not going to get into the history, your financial statement, and say, well, you should be doing this or that. They're just going to go ahead and look at your case, get enough information to sell you. And if they're saying, well, you're going to have to make his payments, they're not going to close your case or start working with IRS until you have paid all the, all the payments to them. So you either want to look local. Uh, obviously, I'm a former IRS agent. I think any former IRS you, agent you hire anywhere is really going to know a lot more. Many times attorneys, not all the time, are overpriced. And uh, CPAs is a, is a good bet, too, or so are enrolled agents. Once again, it all depends on the amount of experience they have doing resolution work itself. Tax attorneys usually litigate. You don't see a lot of them in the resolution space. CPAs kind of dabble in this. Enrolled agents probably do more. But remember, former IRS agents know the system inside and out. Whoever you're picking, do some due diligence. Look at complaint history. Look how long they've been, been in business. Uh, just check what they have on the Internet. Anyway, if you have any questions, you can always call me. Thank you for listening. Thumbs up.